this week on Naked in Thailand. We head off into the mountains where we're introduced to off-road riding. We learn how to hill climb. We learn how to fall. And we learn the importance of working together as a team in this riding discipline and the camaraderie that comes with it. All this and more coming up. Good morning guys, welcome back to Naked in Thailand. Today, as you can see, we're in the lovely area of Pai. Today we're going to be going off-roading. Stay tuned. It's eight o'clock in the morning, but for us, it's never too early to get naked and to get dirty. Let's do it. Uh, we went over the trail last night as to where we're going. Um, it's going to be an in and out trail. Uh, luckily, we had perfect weather for this. Key things, man, we ride as a group. So we're going to leave as a group, we're going to come back as a group. That also means we help each other out. So today might not be your day. Uh, you might have a couple of falls, that's okay. Uh, you'll probably see Tom, Austin, and Matt fall. Uh, you will not see me fall because I'll be at the back and I will hide it. Uh, we're going to have to help each other get up some of these hills. Um, there are a couple of technical climbs, especially with you guys being some new, uh, newer riders. When it comes to rider etiquette, but when we get to a big hill climb, let the other guy get halfway up. Make sure he's gonna make it all the way up. Because what happens if you ride his ass, he kills it, you kill it, it kills the entire group, and then we all, all get stuck on that same hill. It's not a lot of fun that way. Also going forward, again, help each other with the bikes if one goes down. Um, it's gonna be a slow pace today, taking care of video and stuff like that. After getting prepared and fueling up the bikes, we soon began our ascent out of Pai, where we were swiftly faced with our first challenge from the Pai Enduro guys to see what our aptitude for off-road riding was like. Okay, so we're about 10 minutes into the ride now. So far, so good. But as you'll see behind me, the guys want us to get up that. Now to those of you that are well versed in off-roading, that probably looks quite simple, but to us, we're a bit like, eh, uh, are you sure about this guys? But they've said to us, with a little bit of coaching, they're gonna get us up there, so I'm gonna hand you over to the guys now who are gonna explain to us just how they're gonna get us up that. You're gonna approach it a little bit different than what you would as an experienced rider. As an experienced rider, the goal would be to take your momentum from that hill and then go up this in second. So here, um, we're gonna have you go up in first, that way you can control your RPMs a little bit more and you're less likely to kill the bike on the climb. Trust the bike, I promise it has enough power to get you up the hill. So um, don't freeze up, that's the worst thing you can do. The last thing you wanna do is get stuck here. And again, this looks a lot more daunting than what it actually is. So we'll have Austin go up first, that way you can see what it looks like and then we'll uh, help, you, uh, help everybody up. We found a beautiful little area for a stop and, as you can see, some water to go and play in as well.
a little further along in the ride and we came across a military checkpoint that had been set up because of recent Covid cases. So unfortunately, we had no other choice but to turn around and go back the way we came. So we're halfway through our ride, we stopped off in the centre of Pride for lunch. Um, I'm sitting here with Hunter. Um, so tell me Hunter, um, you've been doing enduro for a while. Yes. What made you start doing it in Pi? So um, I started riding enduro when I was four years old actually. My first uh, motorcycle actually had training wheels on it. Uh, it was a small wheel Suzuki 50. Uh, but anyway, the person I really rode with was my dad. Um, anyway, he passed away about 10 years ago, so I stopped riding off road when that happened. Well anyway, I come to Pi to learn Kung Fu and Pi's a mecca for off-road riding, it really is. Uh, one of my favorite coffee shops is just right across the street, and I kept seeing these guys in full kit going by, going by, and I, just, I got the itch again. I was like, I have to do it, I have to get back into it. <laughs> so, um, and that's really where we got Pi Enduro going. Um, I didn't know anybody to ride with, I didn't know any of the trails or anything like that, so I was like, great, let's start a Facebook group. Uh, that way we can start sharing trails and stuff like that together, uh, put rides together, and Honestly, when I first started Pi Enduro, I was expecting maybe 15, 20 people max. Uh, we just broke over 400 last week. Um, wow. We've really started to integrate with the other groups around Pi and Chiang Mai and stuff like that. And just, it's a lot of fun just going out to ride with people. It's, it's an amazing community. Um, it's very much like the expat community. We pretty much all get along. Uh, we have the common uh, goals and aspects and stuff like that, which is so much fun. Where do you see the future of Enduro and most, more specifically your community? Oh, okay. In Pi. Where do you see it going to in the future? The goal is to keep uh, growing it out. Um, as I mentioned before, um, I wasn't expecting more than 20 people. It's really growing, really developing. Uh, when we first started, we weren't doing more than a ride a week. Now we're up to three or four rides a week. Um, people are getting more and more interested. I constantly get messages, hey, honey, will you take me on a ride and stuff like that. So that's the goal. Um, the other thing that we love doing is we also love in integrating with the local ties. There's amazing tie riders up here. Um, they show us a lot of the trails, so it's really fun to bring them all in together. Um, those are huge rides, like we're talking 30, 40 riders. It's so much fun, um, and just expand the community. Um, having new riders like you guys come up and show them what fun dirt riding is, uh, what you can overcome, and it's the best experience in the world. Just like the climb that we did today, like everyone, when we first got there, everyone was like, oh, I don't know about that. And then we got up and everyone had that sense of accomplishment, um, and it's a great time. Today we're having a staple of the north of Thailand traditional dish, khao soi with chicken. During our traditional Thai meal, the Pai and Juro guys explained to us what was going to come up in the afternoon. Thankfully, they had been prepared enough to already have an alternative route ready. I'm not going to lie to you, the riding difficulty in the afternoon was considerably harder than the morning. However, the guys helped us every step of the way with coaching, encouragement and, I have to admit, even riding the bikes for us at times. It's not just the roads, or even the trails here in Northern Thailand that make riding such an incredible experience. Just take a look at this. Unfortunately, the peace and tranquility was short-lived when we had two of the bikes break down halfway up the mountain. So we got the bike running again, as you can see in the background. 
uh, and we've had to use a bit of ingenuity to uh, stand it up and leave it running because we can't put the kickstand down or it will stop so we kind of made a prop and everything for it. Check this out. There you go. That's what you got to come out with out in the field. Look at that. Perfect. We finally made it to the top of the mountain. It's taken, actually, we've been on the go now for hours because we've had two breaks, two breakdowns. Uh, so we've actually had to pull and push the bikes up the hill, which has been a nightmare, but we've done it. And this just goes to show actually what Hunter said during the brief in the morning that these things are gonna happen. And it's about working together as a team to make sure all the bikes and all the riders make it to where we're going. So we've got the bikes up. Now all we need to do is get one of them running again, and then we can uh, take a four by four trail much, much easier back down to Pai, and I think, well, I'm sure we'd all agree, get a very well-deserved beer. Welcome to day two. Unfortunately, we had to finish uh, filming yesterday evening, we were up in the mountain and obviously the priority uh, was to get all of us down safely, which we managed. Uh, it was a lot of fun, it was very challenging, uh, but we made it. So, Hunter, thank you so much to you and all of the other guys who looked after us yesterday. We had an absolutely brilliant time, thank you so much. Of course. Like I said, I'm so glad you guys came out. Um, obviously we had some hiccups yesterday, but I was really impressed the way you guys persevered. Um, that's how you come together as a group, that's how you work as a group. As I promised, we all go up the mountain, we all come down the mountain type thing. Mm -hmm. um, I really hope you guys come back up. Uh, we're looking at trying to expand this into maybe doing like three and five day tours. I think you guys would really enjoy it. We'll have some camping, that type of uh, stuff as well. So it's gonna be a great time. Yeah, thanks very much. Honestly, course, it was man. absolutely great. And Pleasure. maybe in the future, if we get the chance as well, we'd love to take you guys out for a road ride. Oh, that would be awesome. Let's do it. Sounds good, man. Thank you. Boom. So we've had an absolutely stonking time in Pi with our off-roading. Um, if this is something that you want to do, if you're in Pi at any point in time and you think, you know what, that's a bit of me, check the links below for Pi Enduro. Thanks very much for watching. Next week, we'll be taking you around the Samang Loop just outside of Chiang Mai. Until then, it's a lot of fun, but nah, I'm taking this one. <laughs>